We're here in Paris right now, one of the most beautiful cities in the world. Great architecture, monuments, sculptures, everywhere. This is Place de la Concorde, one of the most famous places in Paris. And of course, Paris is known for its fashion shows. These are some of the clothes that were shown at the most recent fashion show known as Fret à Porté, which means ready to wear. The designs range from the offbeat chic of Chanel to the wild and crazy clothes of Thierry Mugler. Many designers showcase special appearances by guest models. Chanel invited Cindy Crawford, but Valentino scored the biggest promotional victory by including Sharon Stone in his presentation. I have 10 inch heels, she's in her bare feet. <laughs> <laughs> so um, how does it feel doing your first Paris fashion show? It's fabulous. For me it's a live theater, it's a kind of modern live theater. It's exciting. If I thought of it as a fashion show and I had to walk out next to you, I'd kill myself. <laughs> Pro Deporté week is more than just walking down the runway. There are endless fittings as each designer tries to attract the most attention. So I like the length. Most of the designers put something in the model's hair to accent their creations. And once the dresses are delivered to the show hall and the models are in place, backstage turns into a madhouse. And the show is just about to start. So everybody gets really nervous. Me too. I'm probably more nervous than anybody else. Um, everybody's running around and uh, it's coming closer and closer. I think we have two minutes left over. And they're calling me, so I'll talk to you later. Once the models get to the runway, they look calm and collected. But backstage, it's sound and fury as each model changes clothes six or seven times during the 40-minute show. This is really crazy, but it's a lot of fun. They are not only unusual clothes to see at the Prada Porte, but they are unusual models wearing them. Helena Christiansen, one of the top models in the world, brought her boyfriend Michael Hutchins, the lead singer for the rock group In Excess, onto the runway. And Naomi Campbell, another top model, brought her mother along. So we heard that your mother is also modeling. She did a runway show, is that true? Yes, she is. She's a great woman. I'm very proud of my mother. She looks like my sister. One of the things that you can count on at the Paris fashion shows, besides outrageous outfits, is new faces. Every year there are new girls coming to the fashion shows. But this year, there seems to be something controversial about it. The people who watch fashion closely are calling them waifs because they're both shorter and thinner than the type of model traditionally used at these shows. A recent magazine article linked the waif-like appearance of top model Kate Moss to the eating disorder anorexia. It was a story that received no support from the models in Paris, including American Cindy Crawford. As we know, Kate Moss eats whatever she wants. That's the way her body is is gener I mean, just normally. Um, I don't have that luck, and neither do you. We have to work out. 18-year-old American Amber Valletta, who was described in the story as a super wave, didn't like the article either. To start trying to blame Kate Moss for people being anorexic is, is a joke. It's not fair. Kate is, is her, fits her body size. Kate herself has some strong opinions about the story. I was a bit upset, but um, then I thought it's rubbish. I don't believe words of it. <laughs> I don't. Everyone's different. It's not like everyone's skinny, because not everyone's skinny here. Or really, you know, that everyone's thin, but not everyone's like skinny, skinny, skinny. Even with stories like the one about waves, nothing stops the creative flow of the Paris designers. And with so much competition, any small edge can help. This year, Sharon Stone provided the most fun when she wore this wedding dress for Valentino. What started as a bridal procession ended with a wild performance by Sharon. It was a show that was greatly appreciated by her fellow models, like Christy Tillington. We were doing our normal catwalk and stuff like that, and um, she was kind of jumping up and down. What do you think about that? Well, I thought she was going to come out because she started out really slowly, and I thought she was going to be a bit shy, but then she went for it. I thought it was really cute. So that's the story of the big fashion shows called Fred Deporté. In Paris, I'm Claudia Schiffer for Entertainment Tonight. <laughs>